Hello, everyone, and peace of the Lord to all of you. And may the Lord, by His blessed name, bless us all. Uh, today, our topic about paganism. I'm sure I will open my Skype soon if there is any Muslim would like to speak to us. In the front of us on the screen, we have a website. It's called Islamic Landmark. It's an Islamic website. And here they have an article about Al Hajar al Aswad, which means the black stone. And I choose to use this website because it has some nice pictures which make me feel like I want to convert to Islam. Very beautiful stone. Wow. <clears throat> very, uh, very tempting stone. A stone made in the shape of a vagina. And supposedly, it is the holy stone of Allah. Hmm. And if we convert to Islam, we have to follow the step of the Prophet Muhammad, and we need to kiss it. So you push your head inside it, and you kiss it. Now, the Muslims, they say to us that Muslims are not pagan, and the Prophet Muhammad, he fought paganism. They say to us that there was a 360-something idols around the Kaaba, and Muhammad, he destroyed them all. But think about it. He destroyed all the other idols, and he kept this one, the vagina. So what was really the religion of Muhammad. The word Muslim is something they stole it from a guy, the Muslim today, they call him Musaylama. The word Ar-Rahman stolen from the same guy, they call him Musaylama. Just to insult, you know, his name. Uh, to make him, like, it's in Arabic, when you uh, pronounce a name in such a way, it's just like an insult. Like when you say, like, uh, you say somebody, his name, uh, uh, Muhammad, you call him Mimi, you know? Like Mimi Hijab. So, the Muslim insulted this man who worshipped one God, and he claimed to be a prophet of God, and who called himself Muslim, and his God is a Rahman, and he himself actually called himself Rahman too. Like Muhammad, he called himself Praised One. Muhammad stole all those names from him. Muhammad stole the black stone from the pagan Arab before him. Muhammad, he stole Moses from the Jews. He stole Isa from the Christians. Muhammad, he stole the bridge over hell from the Sabian. He stole the abolition from the Sabian. He stole Ramadan from the Sabian. He stole Allah from the Sabian. So what is Islam is about? So today we are going to do a little bit of a study about what this cult is about. I'm going to open my Skype in a second in case there is any Abdul, he feel like calling me and maybe he can enlighten us in the paganism of his cult. Let me open it. <clears throat> All right, Skype is coming. And now, here we go. We are on Skype. In case there is any Muslim who wish to call us, please feel free. We will be happy to take your call. Uh, Have some messages in Skype as usual, and I answered the Abdul only. Uh, 
I just heard the news that Angola they decide to ban Islam totally good move smart country in Angola now Islam is banned as somebody sent me a link um, okay Somebody asking me, have you ever uh, addressed that Muhammad? It says Hetak Ardi. Yeah, this is very old news. We, we spoke about it many times. Actually, it is in my book, I think. Uh, okay, we have this uh, guy, Omar. Let's see, he will call me so we can laugh. Okay. <clears throat> Someone is a Christian saying to me, when you debate Muslims, can you please use words more, more polite? No, I cannot. If you don't like it, don't watch me. Let us see this guy. <clears throat> now, one of the funny things about uh, some uh, Christian comments, they are asking me about being polite. I mean, how polite I can be with the devil? Polite with who exactly? What do you mean? What do you, what do you want me to say? What do you want me to do? Call Muhammad the uh, Prophet Muhammad? Uh, not to call Abdul donkey your your Lord himself is he called the Jews and they are Jews not worshiping black stone he called them the sons of vipers so many Christians they have a very <clears throat> uh, uh, imaginary image about uh, language that if you are a Christian you should not use certain words go and read the Bible my friend Christ he was not polite with the wrong ones so don't tell me to be polite I am NOT polite and I will not be polite if you don't like it take a hike are we good this is how I am you know what do you want <clears throat> you want me to be fake what are you asking me to be to be a hypocrite or to be a uh, taqiyya should we use taqiyya uh, we people we are we are going to be polite but I should not I don't believe I should not be polite polite with who about what about the truth since when you can be polite about the truth <laughs> hello uh, hello Christian Prince How yes, are you? I'm fine um, just another short question about uh, Sally uh, one Muslim told me that Sally Allah means uh, to and not to pray, you know the same argument. So, and he found it in dictionary that it actually means to, to the same word as baraka to give blessings. Mm -hmm. How can I, do, how can I disprove that? Well, that's that will be a, a very good good thing actually if the Muslims believe that this is mean the baraka, which means a, a, a blessing, because the verse saying that Allah and the angels do salah. So if the angels do salah and the and Allah do salah, that means they are equal. Uh, well, yeah, kind of. No, not kind of, my friend. If I say to yeah. you, Christian Prince, and uh, uh, you uh, build this house, so both of us mm -hmm. we build the house. We are the builders, correct? Right. Okay. So right. what is the what is the verb is coming out after the name? Is salah. The salah goes yeah. to who? Goes to both, right? Yeah. It so, makes sense for me, but what he can say is that what he will say that it is basically. Uh, if Allah is blessing, it's all right. But if he prays, so according to Arabic, not Quranic Arabic language, but the original Arabic language, the region of the word Salah is, is not blessing, right? It's it's prayer. The, it's not according to Quran. It's not according to anyone. The word Salah always is Salah. I mean, pray. As simple as that. They mm -hmm. are they are they are trying to find a solution for the stupidity of Muhammad. So they come with the word blessing. But by saying a blessing. They, they distorted their Quran and their religion. Why? Because if it is a blessing, then why Allah, using the same word, saying that Allah and the angels, 
and then he there and the believer all believer do salah on Muhammad so okay so if the Allah he gave a blessing who need the blessing of, of the angels anyway right. yeah that that makes perfectly perfect sense for me for every reason if I am hungry if I am hungry and Allah did feed me do I need the food of the angels who is the mm -hmm. who is the source of a blessing anyway Allah right he's, he's God supposedly right. so right. Who, who need the angels what the angels for so if Allah he blessed Muhammad <laughs> That's it. He's a blast. Yeah. So, so what angel yeah. will bless him, and how angel will bless him if Allah bless him already? I mean, this is stupid. So uh, that's why in the dictionary they put in brackets that it's a Quranic context, right? If, if you it's see, a my friend, dictionary. Because, uh, yeah. Listen, listen. All dictionaries are made are made long after uh, Islam established. Long, long, long after, and all dictionary is uh, because it's made by Muslims. It made to fit with Islamic religion so if the Quran they try to find a, a word what this word mean they go and try to find what the Muslims try to interrupt this word and then they come with the meaning it's not really what Arabic means the same as now today like yesterday a guy he told me that the word uh, mean uh, an autumn or mean uh, 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 like sand we can use it for sand yes or we, but but we cannot use it for autumn but today it can be used because this is the word replacement replacing the word autumn in arabic but the dharra in arabic mean an ant as simple as that you know small ant so we need to go to the original and all the quran why why in the whole quran there's we cannot find the word salah coming in translation except in prayer <clears throat> we can search for the same word you know what i mean yeah. All over the Quran, it doesn't come anywhere. It's mean a blessing, except when the Muslims they try to say when Allah He says that they, they switch the word and they make it a blessing. How they knew it's the same word? This is our prayer, right? My friend, the word salam in a prayer as simple as that. So right. if we go in the Quran, you you will find that all the Quran consistent in one thing. The second you say the word salah, the translation will come pray as simple as that. You ask a Muslim what do you want to do now? He says salah. What do you ask him? What salah mean? He say pray. So since when became a blessing? Uh, since when? Well, since uh, when they add Allah and they and they transform the meaning, but that was after Quran, right? So that's like artificial transformation of language. So that's uh, anyway, my friend. Uh, this guy yeah. Hijab he made a video and I got him bought with the video. Go and watch it. He is the one who chooses a verse in the Quran, uh, uh, and he said this is exactly as the verse. Uh, in in uh, uh, the one we are talking about so he got himself busted he got his prophet busted and they help us we don't want to waste our time talking about the same thing over and over right right so, yeah yeah, yeah so this, this is, was this just is, a particular this case. became a boring topic and stupid you know and we care uh, we don't care actually if Allah he pray or not because Allah does not exist anyway this is all fabricated right. Quran by Muhammad and we prove it every day anything else no right. so so it's just suggest to say that if, if the God blesses what's the point of Anyone else would bless, right? And that's it. Why God wanna bless Muhammad and the angels only bless Muhammad? That's it. If Allah blessed me, right. and why he's okay. asking the believer to bless Muhammad if the word salah mean a blessing? Why he's asking the what what the what the what the what the believers can do? You know, that's it. Allah he blessed Muhammad. So what the point of right. saying? Okay, you know, uh, you see the word salah here. What you see? Abdan Iza Salah, chapter ninety six, verse number ten. If we click at the translation, this is the word salah. So translation, it says a pray. I mean, all over the Quran, Salah, you salli, all over the Quran is the same. You pray. So they, in order to fix a, a stupidity of Muhammad in the Quran, Muhammad here he was making himself the center of the universe. Allah, the angels, and the believers, everybody is praying on him. You know. فَنَادَتْهُ الْمَلَائِكَةُ وَهُوَ قَائِمٌ يُصَلِّ. You said, you see, you salli. You said the same or exact word. Okay, what is that translation? Here we go. Chapter three, verse number thirty-nine. Here we go. It says when he was studying praying, you see it praying Yeah, so when they want it's praying when they don't want because it doesn't sweet the the, the, the 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 religion and that will expose the, the false cult of Muhammad where he's making himself God yeah. So there is no consistency same no. time. Why Period. Allah? Why Allah the angels and the believers are praying on Muhammad regardless if it's blessing or not who is he? Mm. You know what I mean mm. why why everybody in the world is busy with Muhammad? So Muhammad became the center of the universe and the rest are just uh, followers. They are just busy just praying on Muhammad Who is yeah. left who is left God angels and believers? everybody Everybody is busy with one thing So when we go in the Quran We'll find that the word uh, you mean meaning <coughs> praying all over 
and then when when they say to us uh, uh, you know uh, that the word salah you see all those verses in the front of us is about salah you know salah 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 so when 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 they when they go and they speak about the, the angels in Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi this is a chapter so okay and then here it says this is chapter 33 verse number 43 the same is chapter 33 4 56 so if Allah is not a praying he is sending a blessing why the angels need to send the blessing Allah is the one who said the blessing already you know don't the Muslim they say if Allah if if, if Allah wants something he say be is going to be mm. okay so here we go Allah he bless Muhammad so what the point of a blessing of the angels yeah you see and here yeah. when they say Allah and his angels shower a blessing on the Prophet this is the most stupid thing ever because what do you mean shower a blessing on Muhammad why what happened Muhammad first of all is a sinner and if Allah he blessed him blessed him that's it is the, is the blessing going to be expired is, <laughs> is it is it a product where you know we can use it for a year and after that maybe it's going to go and there is expiration date so it's stupid if God bless me I'm blessed so you will notice here actually is not only he's he sent the blessing he is sending you see it's continues it's it's get you saluna non-stop Allah and the angels they are you saluna so if it's a blessing or a prayer it doesn't make any difference it's a stupid thing what kind of God he keeps sending a blessing on Muhammad Muhammad is dead and Muhammad is alive or dead if I blessed him he's blessed that's it yeah do yeah. I need to send more blessing what is that for this is stupid is it is a blessing is a, is a, is, a, is a, like a yogurt we need to eat is it like a hummus we need to have uh, is it a, a, a towel get dirty we need replacement it's a blessing that, that's it if, if God he blessed me I'm blessed so it's a stupid argument funny and trying to cover the shame and the stupidity of Muhammad who make things in order to make himself the center of the universe he is the true God of Islam he is the, look at this Allah the angels the believers everybody is doing what is a praying on Muhammad and saluting him yeah yeah people should be praying to Allah saluting Allah in Islam is the opposite Allah and the angels and the believers <laughs> saluting Muhammad and praying on Muhammad what do we want more right all right so CP not to take much of your time one more question about a Warsha version of Quran right they say that it's uh, only uh, there are obviously some letters changed and meanings right so so from the Hafsa version my friend the Muslim don't have Quran at all but we, what we have in front of us they claim that this is from the recitation of the recitation of the recitation of the recitation the recitation the recitation the recitation the recitation the recitation of a guy his name was Uthman but Uthman never recited the Quran yeah yeah but uh, just to to give them a valid point that even today you know the the production of what was before no it is a huge the, difference there's a huge difference because right? sometimes Sometimes changing the word, you know, we can show tons of reference how the word change, changing the whole meaning. So it's not just a dialect because there is words until now proving that they are changing everything. You know, like you see. So it's about yeah. Let, let, you know, uh, uh, let, let me let me show you something. You see the Arabic today in the front of us. You see uh -huh. the okay. Now we we'll show you the same word, the same word we are having in front of us. You saw Luna. You see that this is what you Luna. The, the word we're uh, talking about. I, I just see. Uh, let me find. Yeah, you saw okay. Luna. Ala, uh, yes, something. You saw yeah. Luna. You saw Luna. It can be you saw Luna. It can be different meaning. The same word, same writing. All what we need, just take off those uh, 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 like valves in the top, which something right. added, added later, long after. You know, wasallamu mm. can be wasallimu. You know right. the same word. There's a there, there is a there is a huge difference between wasallam, which means salute, and wasallimu, which means they became safe. The same word. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let, to make it simple so, for you, so let, let me let me yeah. write for you something in how Arabic work. Arabic is very confusing language, without the dots and without the verbs. So I will write this word in the screen. In Arabic, when before actually it was not even connected. They are trying to take from the Aramaic because it's a it's a it's a born of Aramaic and other languages. So this word in front of us, if I, I put a dot here and two dots here, that will make it feel, which means elephant. Mm. Yeah. If I take the dot from here, 
that will make it a meal which mean mile <laughs> mm, mile yeah. you see how the difference between mile and feel my yeah. meal is yeah. one mile like one mile you know so like a, yeah. for a distance so meal and feel all the difference between it is what is just a dot what if about i put two dots here that will make it qeed which means being said the same word so the quran have no dots in the beginning so the muslims when they even uh, long after when they try to make the quran a quran they have and they start adding those letters uh, those those dots uh, uh, they are confused even about what it was saying there because in the original they don't have those dots right but the dot is considered as a, a, as a letter right so so the letter no 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 no, no 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 that the, the dots are not letters but they make they are added to make it more clear later later the dots are not letters the dot now today it's part of the letter but it's not a letter by itself mm -hmm. And so then, Warsha version is 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 not different in terms of writing. It's just vowels, but still the meaning is no. The meaning can change by just changing a dot, as I said, or even change the skill. This one in the top, you see that the the word we have like uh, in, like here. This one we call it fatha. This one we call it dhamma. So those things are tashkil. By changing the tashkil, we can change it from a, a noun to a verb or from. A, uh, uh, change the meaning we can change everything so Quran is a very confusing book very stupid made in a language which Muslims themselves they are not good connected with it and the Muslim they don't have a Quran today not a single Muslim have the, the they, they say this is the book of Uthman I challenge any Muslim to show me the book of Uthman we, we don't have it same time even the Muslim they agree that Uthman he burned all the other books Okay, if they are the same, I, yeah, if, yeah, if, yeah. They, if let us say, so when when uh, Hafsa she have a Quran, why Uthman, why Uthman he burn it? If it says at a dialect, he have no right to uh, burn it because this is the dialect of Allah. Yeah, Allah yeah, he sent it this way. Yeah. So so if uh, 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 otherwise, they have to explain to us why he burn it. If they want to say he want to make it one Quran, who he give him permission to to burn the other Quran? Obviously, the Quran was too much in differences. And because two are far from each other, so he decided to burn all of them, and we will keep this one. Mm. Why the Christian don't burn Luke and keep John, or keep, or or do or vice versa? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Why we don't do yeah. that? So obviously there are a huge difference between them, and they are not a dialect different. It's a huge difference to the point he decided to burn them because it is does not match in any way together. Oh yeah, even the diff. Uh, my friend, the my friend, my friend, please do me a favor. When I have a topic. Let me focus. You took me away from my topic. Now today we oh, decided to sorry, talk about sorry, the black sorry. stone. You called me to talk about something. Have nothing to do with this. I respect you, right, but please right. don't do that again. All right. Okay. We okay. cannot continue with this because I have a topic to run. All right. Okay. Right. Thank you. Fair enough. Yeah, guys, please don't call me. I mean, I respect your intelligence. The title of the video is the black stone, and now we spend half hour speaking about the stupid Muhammad doing salah. We answer this. We have videos about it. Go watch it. What Muslim says will not change anything. If you have a Muslim want to say something to me about this, let him call me. We have a book. Uh, we have a topic about mathematics. We start talking about you know uh, uh, poetry. Focus with me. What is the benefit now of talking about this? I mean, who care? This is the whole thing. Is just stupid. What kind of God he is going to do blessing and the angels and the believers on a man is Muhammad going to heaven or not why he why he need all of this what is that exactly would do Muhammad is going to heaven or not if Muhammad for sure is going to heaven he do not need this garbage that's stupid <clears throat> Let us see. Maybe we have a Muslim. Focus with me. Focus. Don't suffer from the flight of thought like Muhammad. Um, hello, CP. Yes, Abdul. Hi. Uh, so I remember. Uh, the Are you Abdul? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not exactly Muslim. But so what does that mean? What, what does that mean? Not exactly. Uh, I left Islam. I left Islam. Oh, okay. How I can help you, my friend? 
Yes, yeah, so about the topic, yes. I remember talking about this with the um, friends before, right? And they made the argument that uh, there is there is not a problem if uh, if uh, the angels or the believers give uh, more blessing to Allah's blessing. Well, you they, see, they this, is not, this is not our topic, my friend. But anyway, let me answer you. If there's no problem, I mean, what what is how how silly that answer is? There's no problem. Is that about a problem? Is this about stupidity? If Allah He blessed me already, what do you mean there's no problem? It's like saying to me, I did heal you, and then the angels will give me more healing. I mean, that's stupid. I am healed already. You know what I mean? Blessing is about what? It's about your work, your act is approved by God. As simple as that. So if Allah He blessed him, that's it, he's blessed. So what will happen additional if the angels do that? You know what I mean? If I if I gave you a shower and I clean you. Okay, I shower you with the blessing. Now you are clean. Okay, the angels will clean you again and again and again. You are cleaned already. Are, are they going to skin you out? So it's a stupid, silly argument. And who are they to say there's a problem or not? There's no problem. This is stupid. It's not about problem. This is about stupidity. It's like saying to me, okay, I say to somebody, Jesus, he resurrected this person from death. And then he says to me, and I say to him, and the angels resurrected him again and again and again. But the guy already resurrected. Are you getting my point? Yes, yes, yes. But you can be blessed. Can you can be blessed uh, only yeah. one. That's it. If if God He blessed you, you are blessed. Unless we are talking about God, His blessing expired. Yes, it's, but they they that's that's is what that's my point. They say that uh, it may not last forever. How come this this that's mean Allah is not eternal? Because if if the blessing of Allah does not last forever, it's because you can be blessed, but you can still commit sin. That's the no, my friend. Hold, hold on. This is first of all, this is a prophet of God, and he have a license in the Quran to commit sin. Isn't it? The Quran says that we 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 forgive your sin for yes, the past yes, and yes, the coming. Okay, yes. so what does that mean? So he is forgiving for sin. That's it. This the the sin will not do anything. Same time, are are they saying to me that Allah He blessed me, but He do not know if I deserve the blessing or not? Because if you bless me now and later my blessing is not worth it because I am doing bad, this means he do not know I'm going to do bad. So this is a stupid argument again. Why Allah want to bless somebody? He is going to commit sin. Don't he knew? That's stupid. Same time, are you saying to me that Muhammad was a, a good in the same in the time when he blessed him, and there is something changed and he became a bad person after he blessed him? Then Allah he need to fix again. So Allah, so so Allah he bless him sometime. He don't bless him sometime. Where 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 are they get from? This is funny. This is a stupid argument. Islam as Islam as a total is a stupid arg a stupid argument, and uh, garbage in garbage out. And because they are confused, they do not know what to say. This is very very weird. How Allah and the angels and the believers are saluting and praying on Muhammad? They cannot answer. So they start coming with their own interpretation. All the interpretation of the Quran is meant to defend, not to explain. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yes. And you know, if I say to you, uh, "Welcome in my house," do I need to say to you, "Welcome in my house," non-stop? If I say to you, "Enter heaven," should I say to you, "Enter heaven" every day? That's it. The Muslim they say, if Allah wants something, He say, "Be is going to be." So Allah He blessed Muhammad. If Allah later He says, "I don't bless you no more," that will make a difference. Then He need to bless him maybe again, correct? So He have to make a decision. Oppose the first decision about a blessing him. Did he? He did not. You know what I mean? Yes. Let yes. us say God. He said to me, "You are blessed." Now today I'm doing some work. Tomorrow I can. He condemn me. He says, "You are not blessed no more." That will make sense. But Allah never said Muhammad is not blessed no more. So what yes. the point? So this is not about a blessing. This is about the prayer. Muhammad he made himself the center of the universe. Allah, the angels, and the believers. Always they pray on Muhammad. You will find tons of verses in the Quran where Muhammad he consistent non-stop keeps saying that he is the center of the universe. And if you if you have to you have to obey Muhammad in order to be Allah, Allah, not vice versa. So hmm. if you don't obey Muhammad, you don't obey Allah. And now Muhammad is making them worship in him by saying, Allah, angels and believers, all of you, you have an order. And always Muhammad to make people subdue to him, he say, Allah said, not me. So Allah and the angels and the believers, all of them, they do what? They are doing salah. In the top of that, salute him. Even Muhammad, he claimed, because he is obviously teaching people that he is God. Look what he said. He said that when you are, when he is in the grave, what he said. 
Is someone your stream yes, yes. He said that when you are when he is in the grave, all the prayer the Muslims they say is going to be placed in the front of Muhammad. How Muhammad he is not God, but the prayer of the Muslims are going to be in the front of him. You see here they say the word blessing again. In Arabic, it doesn't say blessing, it says salah. Here we go. He says, Min afdari ayyamukum yawmu jum'a fa akthiru alayya min as salah fihi fa inna salatakum ma'ruda alay. They said, How wa kayfa tu'arad salatuna alayk? Translation. The Muslim they replace the word each time you see the word blessing, it means salah. So here you see that Muhammad declaimed that when the Muslims are praying on Muhammad, their prayer is not going to Allah. Even the Muslim they said to him, How we are going, how the prayer will be given to you, submitted to you, read, will be submitted to me. What do you mean submitted to you? Who are you? I thought this is something the Muslim they say to us they are asking Allah for for a blessing correct this is what this is says to you they are asking who they are asking Allah for a blessing this is what they say the angels and the believers are asking Allah for a blessing but this is not the case as you see they are submitting they are doing salah for Muhammad and the salah is going to submit it to Muhammad not to Allah now in order for Muhammad to review the salah of all the Muslims in the world who pray in him every Friday, he have to be God. Mm. How a man yes, imagine they, they imagine be, imagine in, in a Friday in a Friday I open my email and I found 1.5 billion email, and then I'm going to review it. <laughs> you know, in a day, and then he says they ask they ask him Allah Messenger. How can our blessing or our prayer supposed to hear not blessing prayer submitted to you when your body is has decayed, which means you are dead in the grave? He said, Oh, Allah has forbid the earth from consuming the body of the prophets. Yes. So Muhammad he claimed that he is alive, even he is in the grave, and he can see you and he can watch you and he can all your prayer. Muhammad here is scaling the hell of them. Be careful, you cannot fabricate, you know, you, you cannot say you, you pray to me and you fool me. No, I because your prayer will come to me. You know what I mean? Yes, like it's not don't think this is the, now between you and Allah. No, it's going to come to me. So I'm watching over you. You have to pray for me. How he's yes. a man, how he is in the grave, how he is re receiving the prayer of the Muslims, and how that can happen. He must be God. How somebody pray in China, his prayer will come to someone in the grave in, in Medina. Yes, but the, are the the Friday prayers are not just uh, towards the Prophet, right? No, the, the he said no. The, the, a Friday prayer is a prayer, but in a Friday he's asking them in this hadith to pray specifically for him. When like when you finish your prayer, you pray, you say Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala said blah 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 blah. So you have to make certain prayer for Muhammad. All right. Yes. Yes. Okay. Anything else? Uh, no. Uh, sorry for taking you off off topic. Because uh, okay. you so you're talking about the the Kaaba, right? The yeah. Stone. The black stone. Okay. So what uh, what about it? Okay, my friend, listen to me, and then we can talk. What about it? So we can everybody can hear. All right. Okay. 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 Guys, please don't call me to talk about different topic from my topic please don't make me log off my skype we are doing just nothing but disturbing the topic we have tons of videos we spoke about this topic already go watch them we are just repeating ourselves now all right okay hello hey abdul how are you Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? What okay. what Alhamdulillah mean? I don't understand the the language. What what Alhamdulillah mean? I give all my thanks to Allah. Okay. Mm. Did Allah say Himself Alhamdulillah? No. Are you sure? Yes. I I, I want to repeat again. Are you sure? 
I just want to ask uh, ask uh, one question. No, no, no. You see, when you talk to me, I, w I warn always Muslims when they speak to me, don't say anything. Two words you say to me, I will have I will, I will get you in trouble. You say to me, Alhamdulillah. I say to you, did Allah He say Alhamdulillah? Why does it matter? Would it matter because how Allah is Allah, but yet He said Alhamdulillah? Read with me carefully. Nice. This is the chapter of Al-An'am, verse number six. How Allah say Alhamdulillah? Who is Allah? Alhamdulillah, الذي خلق السماوات والأرض وجعل الظلمات والنور. Who is talking there? You said Alhamdulillah. Allah, He uh, say Alhamdulillah. Here we go. So now we have two of you worship a God. His name is Allah. So who is Allah? Uh, Allah saying he's, Alhamdulillah. He's representing himself. What do you mean presenting himself? He is saying, okay, so he is he is a praising, a praising Allah. He he gave a name. He didn't say praise to he didn't say praise to be. He said praise be to Allah. Who is Allah? Who is the one who's talking Allah, there? Allah says many times in the Quran, uh, hmm. uh, glory to Him. But He's talking. No, he's no, no. As presenting. you see here, He is He is saying praise be to Allah. He didn't say pro, pra, praise be to Him because a praise be to me. That's mean praise be to me. That's it. So. That's how and who is the one who is appraising who here? That's that, that's because Allah doesn't talk like that. No, no, no. Who is the one praising who? Allah is appraising himself. What does that will do to Allah? So Allah, when he says praise be to Allah, and he is Allah, what does that will do to Allah? We'll get him blessing like Muhammad. He's representing himself. Why are you representing? He's praying praise be to Allah. What praise? He's praying, he's 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 uh, he's praying to Allah. He is what he's doing. What does praise mean? Oh my God! Don't say, "Oh my God!" So am I, Allah? You are a pagan kafir. Respect yourself. <laughs> so now I'm asking you: When he say praise be to Allah, who is the first one is talking, and who is the second one is receiving? He's talking to himself. Talking to himself? Yes. Can I just uh, ask you one question? <laughs> are you us? Okay, let us, go, let us go back to the topic. Let's go back to the topic. The topic today yeah. is about the black stone. What do you think about the black stone? Yeah, what's wrong? Nothing wrong. Why it's in the shape of a vagina? Uh, that's how uh, it is. First of all, it's not really in the shape of a vagina. Uh, second of all, mm -hmm. that's how the uh, Saudis uh, made it. The Saudis made it. Are you sure? Oh, the uh, white uh, covering uh, around it. Hmm. They made it. I don't care about the covering, but isn't it inside is like a hole? It is. It's, it's just a stone. It's what is just a stone. Don't you see it? The cover is covering the shape. Yeah, but uh, what's wrong with it? Why it's in the shape of a vagina? No, no, no. Let's uh, keep this topic. What's wrong with the uh, Kaaba? What's wrong with the stone? Okay, forget about the shape. Why you kiss it? To uh, erase my sins. So when you kiss the stone, it erases your sin? Yes. So now we have two, uh, two uh, who erase the sin, Allah and the black stone. No, Allah uh, sent this uh, stone from heaven. Mm -hmm. And then when we uh, kiss it, it can uh, erase all our sins. It will erase mm -hmm. all our sins. So now a Christian Prince, if he go to the Kaaba and he kiss the black stone, all the things he spank Allah every day, all those things will be wiped out by the black stone, correct? If you uh, repent as Muslim, that's how mercy. No, 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 no. It doesn't say if you repent. It says if you kiss the black stone, you are the one who told me that. Don't add other things. This doesn't say if you repent. If you kiss the black stone, your sin is erased. Only Muslims. What do you mean only Muslims? You said whoever kiss it is going to, you know, uh, let me show you the hadith. Isn't it your prophet? He said that the black stone and the Yemeni corner, whoever touched him, it's going to erase his sin. I don't know about it. You do not know. I know. That's why I'm a Christian prince and you are not. Let us see. You are not even a scholar. Read, either. read. Yeah, you know, we know who is the scholar here. Here we go. Do you see it? Does it say that? Does it say that whoever touched the stone? The two Yemen, two corners, the black stone corner and the Yemeni corner. By just touching them, it's erased your sin. Do you see it? It's referring to the Muslims. 
it doesn't it doesn't so yeah to the pagan Muslims yeah so why what kind of religion if you touch a corner with your hand you yeah. are just going and by the way it doesn't say it says I heard Allah messenger saying touch them erase sin doesn't say Muslims or not because all of us we knew that the pagan they used to do that the, the pagan before Islam and the pagan after Islam the, the, the Muslim the Muhammadan pagan and the Arab pagan they used to do the same exactly and Muhammad is just copying what the Arab used to do before him so if you touch the two two corners it erase your sin it doesn't matter who you are you now explain to me why by touching them your your sin is erased what you did because that's what Allah decides this is what Allah decide or this is what your God Muhammad decide let me explain it explain it okay I'm, I'm listening Allah send the black stone from heaven mm. and then uh, uh, Abraham build it mm -hmm. and then uh, later in Mecca mm. uh, wherever uh, Muhammad made a rules wherever circles around it uh, it's like freeing a slave and whoever it touches it it will erase your sins mm. so now so yeah. suppose now you explain it, it's like saying to me hummus is hummus I mean what can you can you make a book about what you just said I mean how smart are you you said to me let me explain it to you you just read it again you did not explain anything you just said the prophet said if you touch the two corners it's erase your sin and whoever go around them seven times it's like free and slave this is what it says in front of us give me the explanation go I'm listening what do you mean what do you mean you just did not you said to me you want to explain it but you did not you just read what in the, in the screen yes but uh, what's wrong with the black stone what's your point my point how a stone can erase your sin it's a stone yeah, it's from heaven. So I have a donkey from heaven. It's going to erase your sin. Yes. Really? Yes. So if uh, if Allah He said the donkey will kiss his ass. Allah. What's stuck for Allah? You said to me, even if it's a donkey, is going to erase your sin. So just because it's coming from heaven, that a stone. And by the way, why this stone is coming from heaven? Because Allah sent it. Why He sent it? Because he wants to. Why he wants to? <laughs> what? This is the question. Why? You keep saying to me because he sent it. Why he sent it? Because he want to. Why he want to? You do not know. Because uh, he wants to uh, be merciful to, to the Muslims. So Allah is being merciful by sending stones. For, uh, by uh, sending a stone from heaven. Yes. Mm, so why the prophet came the prophet I thought they got to guide us so if you have the stones we go and touch it and we are done no it's not like that what do you mean not like that he will so it's if you whoever touched them is going to erase his sin so who yes. need who need God anyway who need Allah we go we touch the stones we are done uh, nobody need Allah only stupid ones need Allah now we have the stone Okay. Okay. What? Do you agree that we do not need Allah no more? We have the stone. No, we need Allah. So let us let us let us change the shahada. You should say from now on, there is no stone but the black stone, and no one is worthy to worship but the, but 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 the stone. Okay. Okay. So we have here we go. We have a new Islam now, and now a new shahada. This is a true Islam, paganism. Okay. So do you like to repeat after me? Repeat after me. I, I bear oh. witness that there's no stone but the stone and nothing to worship but the stone No. What do you mean? No a second ago you said to me, okay Okay Hmm And I just ask you one question why why you want to ask me questions? I have no answers. You know, I am I am here a stumble with the stone. I'm kissing the stone now. You don't you see me busy? Oh, but uh, don't you, you want to show respect to the black stone which were erased sin? We are talking about a stone the kind that can erase your sin I mean, this yes, is Abdul. Listen, this is very serious. This is this is a very serious stone. This stone is a very powerful. How a stone can erase your sin? Explain to me. Yes, but you seem to be a scholar in Islam. But I just want to know: Are you a scholar in your own books? No, I am not a scholar in my book. Is that a problem for you? Is that a problem for you? I'm I'm like Muhammad. I, I am I am a scholar only in Islam. That's very retarded. Yeah, I know. Sorry. Yeah, this is why we need to kiss the stone now. You know, you don't even know your own books. Ah, okay. No, my friend, there's a huge difference between being a scholar and knowing the book. 
a scholar is somebody he speak languages etc this is what they call him a scholar which means his knowledge is beyond just the book it's about history and language and etc so I cannot claim to be a scholar in the Bible but I can claim to be a scholar in the Quran because I speak the language I study the Quran very well and I study the history and I know it all okay so you the Bible is a better book than the Quran oh we cannot compare my friend no compare it no we cannot uh, yes, because sir. that will be insult okay why so why the Bible does not teach us that we have to kiss the stones and that stone will forgive our sin if the Bible is wrong and you Muslim you say Christians are pagan but the fact it's you who is pagan uh, actually there's many uh, Mary and Jesus uh, statues in the churches uh, which Christians bow down this, to. this is have nothing to do with the Bible my friend the Bible forbid that this is what what uh, what some priests yeah. they come with okay yeah. this is false this yeah. is false who yeah, care yeah, who care yeah, yeah, yeah. who care this is false yeah show Bible, me uh, did Jesus say so no 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 you see we we judge we judge a belief we judge a belief by the founder and the teacher so if Jesus said we are talking here about your prophet touching the stones your prophet kissing the stones if Jesus kisses stones and touches stones then you can talk to me and tell me about that if some Christians are naive or dummy and they do stupid things that's not my business this is they are wrong there is nowhere in the Bible it says you do that actually the Bible says it clearly make no image is what in above in, in heaven or down in earth as simple yeah. as that so the Bible forbid forbid making images in the purpose of worship if somebody want to do make an image in the purpose of worship he is being a dummy as simple as that now uh, is you, do you agree that your prophet is a dummy yes but the you agree you is, agree your prophet is dummy the problem is that the Bible says don't eat uh, don't drink wine but yet Christians drink in their own churches wine you like, know my friend no my friend my, my the Bible does not say that this is this is not that's not true no 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 Jesus he said a little of it will will bless your heart a little of it will bless your heart don't lie don't lie it. he forbade it huh yeah, uh, Jesus said don't eat pork don't drink wine where he said that where he said that this is this is no this is you're a liar again this is this is the covenant no this is the covenant between God and the Jews God he gave the Jews this is the this is the book for the Jews is it, uh, let me ask you this should show you how hypocrite you are is your God according to the Quran he gave the Jews an order not to break the Sabbath uh, what, what, sorry uh, 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 uh. Is it true that the Quran says that Allah He gave order to the Jews not to break the Sabbath? I don't know. You didn't know why your voice is changing. Are you laughing? No, I, I can feel it. Always you laugh at your God. Here we go. Your God, Allah, even He said that because the Jews He did fishing uh, in Saturday. Allah, he uh, made them pigs and monkeys. Okay. Okay. So why, why Allah, he don't make you a pig and monkey? Do you do work in Saturday? No. You don't do work on Saturday? No. What a liar you are. Just go. Who is a Muslim want to call us and tell us why you Muslims kiss the black stone? Hmm? Who is a Muslim? He have the courage and the knowledge to tell us why Allah He told you to kiss the black stone. What kind of religion this religion is? What kind of stones erase the sin? Hmm? Let us see this guy. No more, he don't want to call me no more. His mom, she forbid him from speaking to me. Look at this text, look, look at this. Guys, look at this message. Look how long it is. Why I should call you? Look like you are not all reading my comment. Then understand them. With very open mind, because talking about open mind, you are always hold on, 
hold on i am always life let me life attacking other religion it is not going to convert everyone to poles hatred cult my friend why you don't say the same you said to me why you don't say that to muhammad attacking us from the first page in the quran you're a prophet he called us pigs monkeys nudges kuffar the worst of the creatures liars the, the uh, uh, demonic people evil doer all kind of filthy names the second we start saying muhammad is a false man we are people teaching hate and secondly you muslims abdul keep attacking paul what if i show you that paul is a messenger of allah in your book your stupid prophet and your stupid scholars all agree that Paul is a messenger of Allah. <coughs> Only donkeys in Islam who follow the that they attack Paul because they don't have knowledge. I can show you endless numbers of reference where Muslims, you Muslims, saying that Paul is a messenger of Allah. There's a guy he claimed to be the the brother of Zakir Naik. He called me before. Go and if somebody have the video, give it to me. We can play. We can play it. But anyway, we don't want to change the topic. Let's focus on the black stone. Potatoes, potatoes. Potatoes, potatoes. Who is next? Yes. Hello. Why well, you are calling again? Why you uh, hang up? Because you are a kid. I talk about tomato. You talk about potato. Uh, okay, let me ask you. I will ask you a serious question. Look at this. Yes. Muhammad, when he said the black stone is from heaven. Yes. Okay, where he get this information from? God. Where it says that? Show me. What do you mean? You said to me, God told him, where, where is God? Allah said to him. He, he doesn't have to say that. Really? Yes. Hmm. Uh, let me ask you. When you touch, when you touch the blast stone, only it heal your sin or it heal your body? It uh, heals your sins. Hmm. What is the last thing your prophet did before he died? Cursing the Jews and the Christians. No, no, this is not the last thing. Uh, saying don't make my grave a worship place. No, this is not the last thing hey, What he piss <laughs> What are you are you think I'm, I'm, I'm joking Why are you all laughing The prophet who said and he's asking Allah to forgive his sin why he did not touch his stone instead of pissing If he knew that the black stone will erase his sin if we go it says at the time of the death of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Allah pray on him and salute him she gave him a support with her chest or she said with her lap he asked for a container to urinate he urinated there in, therefore he passed away. Am I lying? Yeah. Are you there? Yes. Your prophet, the last thing he did, he pissed? Yeah, I don't know. Why he didn't, he didn't pray to Allah? I mean, the last thing you do in your life, you say something. If Muhammad is God, he speak to him always. Why Allah did not say to him, you have a few minutes to live, do something useful. Is it useful to piss? No, he just uh, doesn't care. I mean, he's going to be fine. He what, knows that. What do you mean he will be fine? Why he pissed? What was the point? I mean, he cannot take his... Uh, what, what, why he pissed the last thing? You know, do Muhammad know he's coming to, to death? He's, uh, did Allah told him? Why he did not touch the black stone before he died so his sin would be erased? This will be the last thing he did. That's it. There's no more sin. Yeah, maybe he needed to uh, piss really bad. He needed to piss really bad. Yes. Be honest with me. When you talk to me, don't you feel I'm pissing you off? Yes, a little bit. Okay, a little bit. A lot, I think. Yes. So what we can say that the last thing Muhammad he said in his death, it was to urinate. 
do you do you Muslims are going to follow the Sunnah of the Prophet before you die you need to piss because you Muslim you follow him blindly you are next to your wife why you hang up <laughs> so guys shall we continue are we learning are we learning okay why are you Is calling me again why i'm sorry i uh, hanged up you hang up uh, you pissed off okay so so what, what do you think about what's happening okay let me show you something else forget about this I mean this is not even important to be honest with you who care I mean Muhammad he pissed the last thing you know Muhammad is a prophet he pissed always is the Kaaba holy <clears throat> yes how holy it is I uh, very holy how, how holy when you say very holy something that is from heaven is holy what Something that is from heaven and that is on earth is holy. Okay, but is the Kaaba from heaven? No, no not the Kaaba itself, but the uh, black stone. Hmm. Okay. If this is Kaaba is holy, is it allowed for dogs to piss inside it, or to piss in the in the Prophet uh, Masjid Mosque? No. No. So you're a prophet, he piss, and we see here. Let me paste this hadith here. My father said that during the lifetime of Allah Apostle, dogs used to urinate and pass through the mosque, come and go. Nevertheless, they never used to sprinkle water on the urine of the dog. What's happening? We have a holy ground. And we have dog getting in come mm -hmm. and go mm -hmm. and they do what they left their right foot and they piss in the mosque mm -hmm. Muhammad he yeah. never oppose it the Muslim never oppose it and they never clean the urine of the dogs inside the mosque what's was going on explain to us uh, Yeah, well, uh, the companions for Muhammad didn't know that the dogs used to go to the uh, masjid and piss there. My friend, what do you mean they don't know? It says, my father said that you're in the life of Allah, but he's there. The Muslims are in yes, the mosque but... when Muhammad is there. So he, he is there and the prophet is there and the dogs are going in doing their poo poo. Huh? And, you know, your prophet didn't mind. Maybe when, uh, yeah, but uh, you couldn't actually say that they actually allowed it, huh? Well, okay, so as you see, they come and go, and nobody during the lifetime of Muhammad, do you uh, see it? Maybe, maybe they used to sneak in a piss and then they went away. What maybe they used to sneak in mm -hmm. piss and they uh, went away. Yeah, they sneak in inside the mosque when the Muslims are inside and the Muslim they see them as you see and they don't even don't clean after them. Why don't they clean? Sometimes. What do you mean sometimes? No, it says we don't, we never less, we never, never use to sprinkle. Do you say it? Never. So the pace of the dogs staying in the mosque, Muhammad, he come and he, he let us say, let us say for the sake of argument, Muhammad was not there. Okay, the dog comes, the dogs come out, the dogs leave, they come again, and they piss, look like they like the mosque of Allah. And they make it like a bathroom. So they piss in, and no Muslim clean, no prophet clean, nobody clean it. Maybe they used to piss in a uh, specific corner, that's where they allowed the dogs to Do piss you say in. specific corner? Is that the black stone corner? No. You are the one who said a specific corner? Yeah, but... 
this is talking about a mosque right well isn't it the isn't it the Kaaba is a mosque what isn't it the Kaaba is a mosque no what is the mosque what most mean what masjid. is what masjid okay what the Quran called the Kaaba doesn't call the Quran Sajid uh, 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 Masjid al Haram yeah but this is yeah, but, uh, yeah and then they come on so so here we go we have okay it, and it doesn't really make a difference anyway you know this is the house of Allah it says so, mosques okay it's, this uh, is okay a mosque the, the Kaaba is a mosque oh so it says mosques in the plural form my friend is it the Kaaba is it the what what mosque what mosque no here we go no no okay okay here. in Arabic it doesn't say it says Al Masjid, not mosque. This is false translation. It says Al Masjid. Al Masjid. There's no mosque. One mosque. Here we go. All right. Al Masjid, not mosque. Not many. And the Quran, name your Kaaba as Masjid 2, chapter 2, verse 144. Mm. Mm. So if the stone is holy and the Kaaba is holy and the house of Allah is holy Why the Prophet and why the Muslims don't even clean after the dogs urinating? Are you there? Do you feel like calling a friend? No. Are you laughing? Be honest no. with me. Did you leave Islam or not yet? No. I have a feeling that you are out of Islam already. No. I can tell. Always you are trying to hold yourself from laughing. Everybody can feel it. Correct, guys? You are trying no, to hold I... yourself from laughing about, about, about your own stupid cult. Each time I surprise you with something, you cannot hold yourself. So inside you, you are saying to yourself, this is garbage. No, I'm an, I will never leave Islam. You will never Islam. Let me ask you Is it allowed for people to piss in the holy mosque of Allah inside the mosque? I don't care. What Can do you I mean you don't care? One question? Hmm? What do you Can mean I you don't care? What do you mean you don't care? Can I just ask you one question? No, you cannot ask me a question now. We, we, are, we, we Today we are going to give you a PhD in pissing because this religion is all about pissing. Can a Muslim man go inside the mosque or a man go inside the mosque and unzip? And he hold his private part and he start sprinkling around with his penis is it okay in islam yes it is it is okay yes how this is a house of allah and it's a holy house and you muslims you piss in the middle of the house hmm? are you there Hello. Yes. Yes. Are you laughing at your religion? No, I'm not laughing. You are laughing. I can't feel it. No. <laughs> say I say I am out of Islam, my friend. Say it. It's time. No. No. You are out of Islam already. I can't feel it. No. Okay. If you don't, if you if you are not out of Islam, I want you to make a video in YouTube, post it in YouTube. You go inside the mosque. And you practice pissing in the mosque. Can I just ask you one question? No, don't ask me questions. Why you want to change the topic? It, it's just about the Old Testament. I don't care. I, I know. I don't yeah. care about now. This is my topic. I have a topic to run. Don't change my topic. Yeah, but, you see, I was uh, shouting right. at the Christians because they were changing my topic. So don't change my topic. Yeah, but what why? kind of religion? What kind of religion allowed its followers? Or anyone to enter into their mosque and they piss in the middle of the mosque. So dogs piss in the mosque, people piss in the mosque. What is left? I don't know. Okay. When you know, let me know. No, 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 no. Uh Hold on, we have a Muslim, his name. Don't call me, guys. Only Muslims can call me, please. Don't make me block you, Abdul. I will block you. I told you that's it. I gave you enough time. 
Okay, you are forcing me to block you now. Here we go. Okay, you are blocked. Where is this guy? Hello? Yes. CP. And my name is Oliver Ramsin. Okay. I saw that you said you have a text for me saying you said the black stone is a vagina, don't lie. Yes, because you imagine in your head. So what it is? Why you see what it, it looks is? like a vagina. What it is? It is just a hole. Oh, thank you. I mean, that's amazing. So it's a hole. Why it look like a vagina then? Because you imagine. What do you mean imagine? This is how it looked like. Look with me. So the first thing in your head, you think it's a vagina. Okay. What, what comes to your head when you see it yourself? Norm, normal hole. It's normal hole. Normal. Normal hole. Yes. Why it's in the in the in that shape? This I can't explain, but it's not in vagina. Okay. What if I show you that the Muslim they say that women they use to touch their vagina and they place their hands inside the black stone because this is the the stone of fertility. Where where it says. Where? Okay. If I show you, you will not say. Uh, First of all, are you a Muslim? Yes, I am. I okay. converted. Oh, okay. That's good for you. I'm so happy. Allah will make your penis long now. Okay. Let us see. I, I converted too, by the way. But uh, uh, I went to the heaven of Allah and I noticed that nothing what he promised me is there. I mean, even uh, even there is no internet. So look at this. I see. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> This is an official Islamic website, aliman.com. Kitab al Hawi, Tafsir al Quran. All right, we yeah. go down. You know Arabic? Yes, I can read. I, I can read. It's no problem. All right, that's wonderful. All right. Uh, Why you take so long? Because we need to find what if they think I am. Uh, uh, I always have things in in front of me. You know, you really. If I if I ask you now to find me a reference, will take you two seconds to find it. No, but okay. Here we always. go. Okay, it's in front of me. Now, Taking you so okay. long. It took me what uh, five ten seconds. And this is so long, read it to me. <laughs> Stupid idiot. Go, get lost. In the front of us, we see that it says the following. That during the, the flood of Noah, Allah, he ordered the 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 mountain which is close to the Kaaba is called uh, Qubais and he ordered it, Abu Qubais he ordered it to hide it and when the flood of Noah is finished the little mount it's not a mountain a small mount it's like a hill uh, 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 split up and throw out the black stone it says so it was a white pearl from the heaven and because of the touch of demonstration of women during the time of jahiliya which means pre-islam became black so if this is not a vagina why women they are placing their vagina blood inside it they do that women and we can go there's many books of history actually islamic books not christian books 
women in order to get for charity women who they are suffering from not having kids or they want to have a baby what they do the women she go naked people they go around the Kaaba naked we can show it to you even from Sahir Bukhari they go around the Kaaba naked and then when they arrive to the black stone the women she come to the black stone when she have her period only she place her hand in her vagina she take the blood from her vagina and she put her hand inside the black stone then the man comes after her and he placed his penis in the black stone and supposedly now the god of fertility Baal is going to make or Manat is going to make the fertility happen the women she will be pregnant if not I challenge the Muslims why women of blood in the, in the pre-islamic religion was placed inside the black stone the holy stone which you kiss every day any abdul any health abdul Hello? 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 Yes, so uh, first of all, I'd like to cl clarify what uh, the previous uh, guy was saying about the Kaaba, right? Mm. So Muslims do not think that it is holy at all. At all. It is just a reference, reference point for in order to pray, uh, unity, to pray in unity towards one direction. Mm. The Kaaba is not holy. Hmm. It it uh, it became unholy when uh, when uh, it became black when Ad Adam sinned. Uh, where you got where you got where you got your information from that the Kaaba is is not holy? It is not. If the black stone is holy, how the Kaaba is not holy? I mean, not the Kaaba, sorry, this the black stone, sorry. Oh, okay, and where you got this information I'm, I'm, that is not about the black stone? Okay, where you got the information is not holy because it is not. It's not part of the so, faith. Is not what? It's not part of the faith. It's not the how the it's belief. not part of the faith. But if you touch it, it erase your sin. No, in the time of Muhammad. In the time of Muhammad, it's Muhammad who said that. He said, if you touch the black stone, if you touch the two corners, the black stone corner and the Yemeni corner, it erase your sin. Yes, yes. So how, if it's not holy, is not going to erase your sin? And why Muhammad kiss it if it's not holy? Sorry, what? Why not, Muhammad? The... Why Muhammad kiss it if it's not holy? What is? What is? Why? Why a man want to kiss a stone if it's not holy? Because it's a part of a. Okay, it's, it's part of the Sunnah. It's part of the ritual. My friend, do you know what Sunnah means? Sunnah is what Muhammad did. Okay, so yes, why Muhammad exactly. did that? Don't tell it me it's part. Sunnah okay, why a Sunnah is what Muhammad did, not what Sunnah. Don't tell me Sunnah. I'm asking you what Muhammad did. So you don't tell me it's part of the Sunnah. Sunnah is what Muhammad did. So I'm asking you why Muhammad did that? Why Muhammad did the black kiss black stone? Because uh, it's because uh, God wanted them to. Okay, why God wanted them to do? I don't uh, that, that I don't know. Why would we? Why would we know? This is we just we are supposed no, to. No, you say you are the one who said to me. You are the one who said to me that this black stone is not holy. So yes. how you come to this conclusion? If you are just saying the one saying to me that Allah He told him to do so. Because listen, it is not holy because uh, Adam's sin cast, was casted in the stone and it became black. Okay, and also in the Quran itself says that the stone does neither good nor bad. The Quran says that in in the book, yes, in the book of Hajj, chapter five. The this is the Quran or Hadith. In the Quran. Okay, show me. I want to. I want. I want. I want. Okay, but is, this is not Muhammad who said that. This is Umar al-Khattab. He said that. Yes, but. Okay, so uh, Muhammad he said, "I kiss the black stone." Umar he said, "I am kissing you just because I saw the Prophet kissing you." Correct. Yes. Okay. That's mean. Muhammad is a liar. No. How does it make him a liar? Just because? Uh... Because simply Muhammad saying, because Omar saying, I know that you are useless. To the stone or to the prophet? No, to the stone. So if the stone is useless, why Omar is kissing it, and why Muhammad he kissed it? You see, your Omar he got Muhammad busted. 
Muhammad, he don't dare to say to Muhammad, to Umar what to say. He's scared that, of him. That is that is because uh, what it, what because it, if if Muhammad kiss it and Umar he says I know that you are useless, but but just because Muhammad he kiss it we do it, right? No, Umar does not say it is useless. Okay, hold on. No, he said it's useless. He said that. I know yeah, that yeah. there's no benefit from you and there's no harm from you. It's you are useless. Yes, yes, okay. In the book of Hajj, yes. All right. Chapter so five. there is no benefit from you and there is no harm from you. That means you are useless. No, that is because it became like that. The stone became what like became that what after, do you mean became like that? What became after the Prophet's death? This is the time of Muhammad. What after the Prophet death? This is the time of Muhammad. Omar he's saying, I know that yeah. you are is Muhammad the person who lived with the time of Muhammad or not? Yes, yeah, okay. Yeah. So I know that you are useless, but just because I know that the Prophet kiss it, I'm kissing you. Okay, so now why Muhammad kiss it if Omar he is agreeing that this is a useless stone? Um, I think it's because uh, since Muhammad is the Prophet, then mm. he had the uh... what kind of a Prophet he is kissing a useless stone. No, when Muhammad kissed it, it was not you. It's not useless. Useless if the Prophet kissed it. My friend, so why Omar is saying I know that you are useless? Because Omar is not a prophet, so it. But you are the one Muhammad. who quote for me what Omar said to prove the point. You are the one who said to me that Omar he did kiss it because Muhammad he kissed it and he said it is you know this there's no benefit from you. You are the one who quote the story for me. So now Omar is confirming that this stone is useless. So you are saying to me that Muhammad when he kissed it, it was not useless. Yes, for reading, but this, this is the during the time of Muhammad too. Omar is in the time of Muhammad. Yes, yes, you're okay. Right. Yes, you're, so yes, Omar yes. and Muhammad they live together and they are friends now, and they even they have a, a marriage between them. So maybe it's it, I think maybe it's because Omar's faith was weak. Ah, Omar's faith is weak. Is your faith is strong? <laughs> Do you kiss a black stone today? No. Why not? It's not. Well, what is the point of uh, your question? What do you mean? What's the point? Your prophet. You are the one no, who said to question. me Sunnah. You are the one who said to me you do Sunnah. Sunnah is to kiss yes. the black stone. Your prophet he kissed it, and Omar he kissed it because this is Sunnah. So why you don't want to kiss it yourself? No, I, uh, I, I'm not. I don't completely agree with the uh, Islam. I'm not. I'm not sure about it. But so did you? Uh, you, you you left Islam already? Uh. Kind of, kind of. Okay, so yes, but I just wanted to. So, so you because... said you said Islam is a lie, then, right? No, whether I left Islam is uh, no, no. I want to know. You left. Did you did you, decide, because... did you decide to leave Islam? Yes. Okay, that's wonderful. So now, based on you left Islam or not, that will not change anything. When Muhammad he kissed the stone, he kissed it for what purpose? You used to be a Muslim, and now you decide to leave Islam. I'm happy for you. According to my understanding, it is because the God had commanded him to. Where is the it's, where is the command of Allah? This is what the pagan used to do before no, Muhammad. It's, it's not written, but whatever the prophet, if the prophet does something, it it's, it is in accordance with Allah. Okay, let me ask you: Have you ever heard that the Arab used to go around the Kaaba even in the time of Muhammad naked? Yes, many people use the Kaaba before him. Every, okay, many times. why they go naked? Because they were not; they were those were not Muslims. They were people. They were. But they, they were are doing Nabatians, it. But they, were but they are doing it during the time of Muhammad. Where Muhammad? Why Muhammad never said, "Shame on you"? Why he did not fight it? You know, we have tons of verses in the Quran speaking about the pagan, etc. But the Quran never mentioned that you should not do and go around the Kaaba naked. Why Allah did well, not? What do you want why? To do? Do why? You want no, to no, no. Them? You see, Allah He make verses about stupid things. Not important, but he do not have time to make a verse about you don't go around the Kaaba naked. Who yes, care about if Suleiman, my friend, the Quran have a time to talk about Suleiman speaking to the bird. Suleiman, he heard the ant. Suleiman, he have a flying carpet. Suleiman, he saw a woman have no hair in her legs. Suleiman, he have a, a, a army of genie. Suleiman, he ordered the genie to build for him a palace. Suleiman, he had uh, lost his ring in the bathroom, and Shaitan started having sex with his wife. All those stupid stories. And Allah have no time to mention that Arab are going around the Kaaba naked, and it's time to stop them from doing that. 
just because look, even there was even an a Bedouin that pissed in the Kaaba. This is not the know. question, my friend. People going naked around the Kaaba. What? What exactly the ritual they are doing? You need to ask yourself this question. They were wrong. They were. Wrong. This is not the question, my friend. We are not here to say what's wrong. What's wrong? What's wrong? And we are saying now we are report, reporting history. What kind of religion they are practicing needed women and men to go naked? Are you getting my point? Okay, were they Muslim? Doesn't matter. The Kaaba is the Kaaba. This is the Kaaba. Muhammad inherited the Kaaba from the Arab before him. So and you expect Muhammad to uh, chop off their heads? If, uh, already he chopped all, uh, chop all the head of everybody. Why not? Why Muhammad now? He don't mention that because I will tell you why Muhammad. He used to go and enjoy it. Actually, there, if you have my book Six and Allah, you will see that Muhammad he decided to forbid going around the Kaaba for a very simple reason. There's a woman he liked her. She was going uh, naked around the Kaaba and she was singing a song. Muhammad he looked at her bum, he looked at her vagina, he looked at her boobs, and he loved her very much to have sex with her. So Muhammad he decided that it is time now to stop making because he don't want her to go around the Kaaba naked again, just for the sake of that woman. So Muhammad was there. The Muslim have control of the Kaaba, and yet the people are going around the Kaaba, and they are naked. Why Allah don't make a verse? Why? Why did he not make a verse? Because uh, the the Prophet addressed this before. What do you mean address? Where, where, where it says where he addressed yeah, it? There is a story of a Bedouin uh, pissing in the cab. And the this is not about the pissing now. We are talking about you, my friend. You don't. I'm answering your no, question. no, no, no. Just go. Just go. You are just a kid. Don't even call me again. I'm talking about people going around the Kaaba pissing. Not. I'm talking about the Kaaba going naked, not pissing. And by the way, you're a prophet. He never said to the Bedouin man, "Don't piss." Actually, it's the opposite. The Bedouin man, he decided to piss. Muhammad, he said to them, why you stop him? Let him piss as much he wish. You left Islam, but you are stubborn. We talk about potato, you answer, you're still a Muslim inside you, but by the ignorance. Read carefully. The Prophet did not forbid the man from pissing. The Prophet forbid the Muslims from forbidding the man from pissing. A Bedouin came and passed urine in one of the corner. She doesn't say even corner in Arabic. They are adding that to make it look nicer. Of the mosque, the people shouted at him, but the prophet stopped them till he till the, he finished urinating. Do you see it? And I will tell you why Muhammad did that. Muhammad is a hypocrite man. He don't want that Bedouin man to be upset. Let him piss. As simple as that. But when Muhammad when became a strong, who dared to piss in his mouth? He would chop his head. So there's two versions of Muhammad. Muhammad the weak, you can piss on him. Muhammad the strong, he cut your head. That is the truth. Hello, you're a kid. You are a Muslim man calling yourself Yasmin. Hmm. Who is a brave Muslim when I call us? Black stone followers. Pagan cult. They give you speeches about worshiping one God. 
but the fact it is totally the opposite actually Muhammad he said that Allah will resurrect the black stone in the judgment day and is going to have two eyes and a tongue and is going to witness for everyone his sin and this is in a Turmudi and this is in the Maja let me see if I can find the hadith here in English here we go the messenger of Allah said about the black stone by Allah Allah will raise it on the day of resurrection with two eyes by which it sees and the tongue that it is speak with testifying to whoever touched the truth touch it in truth when Omar he said that the black stone is useless he exposed Muhammad to be a liar because how Muhammad he say that the black stone is going to witness for you in the judgment day yet Omar he says I know that you are useless hmm? do you see it this is nothing but paganism as simple as that A black stone is going to witness for your sin in the day of judgment any Muslim can get us busted if this is not paganism what is paganism then So let us make it simple. How the black stone is going to look in the judgment day? The black stone is going to have a mouth. And it's going to have eyes. And it's going to have ears. Nice to meet you, Blackstone. And now the Blackstone will start talking. And you are telling me that Islam is not a paganism religion? Muhammad he claimed that this is a living stone so when you are kissing the black stone which is in the shape of a vagina you are kissing the lips of the black stone the clitoris of Allah if we go in the hadith Guys, uh, by the way, I have uh, I have copyright over this art. Just don't buy it and put it in eBay. I know you. Let me put my signature here. Jungle, Mongol, Jungle. Okay, this is a Christian Prince signature. All right, because I know you. You will copy it and you know and then the muslim they will make it a holy uh, uh, paint and they will start kissing it and they put it uh, everywhere you know they don't use photoshop to erase my signature don't even try okay who is using photoshop this is the genie you got it
who is a Muslim have the courage and the knowledge I am a Christian Prince and no one of you dare to talk to me you are people of a blah 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 I heard there's a guy from Germany his name is Tarzan he said he wanna pay me a ticket to come and debate him you coward cannot you call me in Skype and save your money which is not lawful your ticket from the government of German of Germany and now you are making yourself like a hero you want to pay for my ticket who are you to pay for my ticket and you liar prove it that you will pay for my ticket go and make a donation right now in battery on let us see if you are truthful I challenge Christian plans I will pay for his ticket to come in the beat brother it take you Skype and you don't dare even to call me in Skype and you are talking about ticket coward potato do we have any Abdul the Muslims are dying in Somalia children Muslims are dying in Somalia and Air Africa and the Muslims are claiming that we are feeding bread giving them uh, exchange of uh, sandwiches <clears throat> and that's why they became Christians and yet Abdul want to send he want to pay a few thousand dollars to Christian Prince to come and debate him this is what he claimed but he knew they would never do that coward liar Any Abdul. Anyway, guys, I'm not going to stay long because I need to go back to my book. Oh, we hold on. We have a guy is calling. Hold on. Hello. 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 How are you? I'm fine, Moroccan boy. How are you? Fine too, and you? So, what do you think about the black stone? Is going to have eyes and and mouth and talk. Allah can do anything what is the problem with this if Allah created you from nothing can he can he, can he transform the black stone to what he wants yeah but why the black stone is going to have mouth to do what exactly to to test uh, the people who touched him he will okay. testify that the black stone is going to testify thank you very much so the yes, black stone will say to Allah the black stone will say to Allah your sin is that correct what the black stone will say to Allah your sin <clears throat> no uh, the black because when the, when the people touch the black stone they don't worship the black stone they they know that it is Allah who will forgive the sin by touching this this stone it, it is not the stone himself who will forgive your sin like when my you friend pray, the stone is going to say your sin yes or no no what do you but, mean no it's going to testify but, your sin no it's not, the stone is not going to talk the, the, this stone he will talk and he will tell Allah that this person he touched me so he will he will ask Allah to forgive his sin okay so the, this guys listen to this listen to this so the black stone will start saying this Allah, please, this guy, he touched me, forgive his sin, Allah. Why? Why is that? Yes, because it is because it is not this son who will forgive the sin. This son is he's just, uh, testify, they will, he will uh, be a testify that the person touched him. So Allah will forgive this sin. It is not the black son who will forgive this sin. Do you understand? Hmm. Well, the, like, what so what about like, the hadith? What about the hadith where your prophet he says whoever touched him it erased its sin? Yes, it erased who erased it? Allah by how how it's how you why why no it says it erased your sin. It doesn't say I, Allah will erase it. It is it is including no, it says it, whoever it, touched them, whoever touched them, it erased his sin by touching them. Like, like Allah say also, if you pray, your 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 sins are forgiven. No, is your Allah, he, Allah, He did not say if you pray, your sin is forgiven. This is a lie. Your Allah, He says, may be forgiven. 
it, why he see me if if you did your prayer like he was he okay was, he was. okay Allah he always keeps saying me because he is not God now here oh, you're a prophet no, when he just, says whoever touched them whoever touched them it erase his sin whoever touched them so touching them it erase your sin automatically not waiting for Allah to forgive as you see no read the hadith read the hadith in front of you read it read it you go you can send the screen go ahead read it all these scholars agree that it is Allah who will forgive your sin by and by the action because Allah forgive your sin by many action by praying by doing Hajj by searching this song by many actions it is not the act like I say when when you kiss your uh, your mother Allah will forgive your sin it is you not your mother who will forgive your sin because this is action from God it is Allah who, who told you to do it my friend so Allah the one who will give the uh the reward to you it is very clear it's very clear it says whoever touched them is going to forgive your sin it's going to raise to sin it doesn't say allah already you see the word allah there hello i'm, I'm here does it say that allah will forgive your sin or whoever touched them it erased their sin Where he say the black son himself erased this sin. It says in the front what of you. Say? It says whoever touched him, it erased his sin. It says in the front of you. Like I say, your sins. Okay, let me ask you. Let me ask you. So you're a prophet Muhammad. He kissed the black stone. He Is that because? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I will, I will go with your sentence. I will go with your sentence, Abdul. Hold on. You said that the black stone is going to ask Allah for sin forgiveness. Correct. Is that I correct? The, the, bla person, the black stone is going to ask Allah to forgive you for the sin. Is that correct? Why? Let us make it simple. Why you kiss? The, why you kiss the black stone? You yourself. Why you kiss the black stone? First and foremost, kissing the black stone. It is not obligatory. This is not a question. No, it's it is it is sunnah. So you have to do it. Don't be a liar. It's a sunnah. Sunnah is obligation. No, and, and it is a sunnah. It is a sunnah. You are a liar. Now I'm asking you. Why you're a prophet? Why you're a prophet? Kiss the black stone based on what you said. Why you're a prophet? Kiss the black stone. Because it is from the heaven. He love it. <laughs> he love it. <laughs> so, so you are saying to me. So, you are, this is the only reason. This is one of the reasons. What, okay, give me all the reasons. I, I'm, I'm listening. Give me all the reason your prophet kicks the black stone. This is one of the reasons because there is. I am not. The you see, don't make me repeat the myself. Lose my voice. Give me all the reasons. Because this. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I know you you know it when uh, for for tribes they are uh, debating this is not the question no give me all the reason don't tell me for tribe those are pagan this is not the reason your your Muhammad father was a pagan the grandfather of Muhammad was pagan this is not the question why Muhammad kissed the black stone he wants this is not the question why he did it you said there's one of the reasons give me all religious reason have to do with Allah what is the reason Muhammad he kissed the black stone because Allah told him that this is he forgive sins for the the believers. Okay, so he kissed the stone so that his sin will be forgiven. No, he will teach the people that if you touch, if I can teach, teach people, people, I can I I can teach people to drink camel urine. As he said, I do not need yet to drink camel urine. I can say drink can, camel urine. People would drink it. Can I answer about the camel urine? No, not now. We have a topic. I know no, camel urine is a camel urine is healthy. There's a Japanese a scientist, his name Yama. I do lie, Yama. He said that. Don't lie to me. Now I'm asking you. You, you know, hold on, hold on. You are the one who said to me that the black stone, you agree that the black stone is going to witness in the judgment day, correct? But he will never forgive this sin by him. No problem. Let us go with, let us go with your lie. Let us go with your lie. Guys, the black stone will not forgive, but the but the hadith in front of us it says we'll will forgive. But let us go with your lie. How the black stone, how Muhammad, hold on, 
how Muhammad he said the black stone will witness for you in the day of judgment and will speak to witness for Allah yet Omar he said they are useless and harmless you know he said Omar this mm, why I must see this because he he agree with me that this son himself he cannot do anything he cannot forgive you see by himself it is Allah who will forgive this sin. This my is, friend you are being stupid now yes. if, if Muhammad no. if you are the one who just said to me a second ago that the stone is going to witness for you that means this stone have a job so when Muhammad he said you are useless it's mean you are useless if Omar he says that that's mean it's going not to talk though either either one of them is lying either Omar is lying or Muhammad is lying if I say to you no this stone have a use it's going to witness for you in the, the judgment day and then Omar he says no this stone is useless which one we believe none none of them lie because I say to you the prophet say that it is it, he will forgive your sin by he will, he will testify that uh, that uh, Allah as long as going to testify that's mean the stone is a witness how you can say a witness is useless are you stupid or what you just did, said that did, the prophet said it is a witness the job of the stone is to witness for you Omar he said it is useless which one of them is accurate Omar when he said it is useless he mean that he cannot do it by himself because he is, this stone is not good you understand <laughs> my friend this is another question why Omar he said it is useless if Muhammad he said is going to witness one guy he said is going to have a mouth is going to have eyes is going to have ears is going to talk and one said no it is useless no benefit no harm no benefit do you see the word no benefit so if the stone will witness it's mean there's a benefit so which one of them is lying none of them I, I because he, he is another perspective Omar, he he mean that the 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 black son is not good so by himself he cannot do anything abdul this is not what he said don't 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 be a liar he said i know that you are useless and harmless stop lying he did not say i know you are not god uh, this is what you understand this no no this is not what i understand no no this is don't 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 lie here we go omar came near the black stone and kiss it and said no doubt no doubt i know that you are a stone and can neither benefit anyone nor harm anyone yes, by himself by himself what you don't key you keep saying by himself by himself this is a stone and so why muhammad saying is going to speak in the day of judgment if there's no benefit from it by the will of god because he... abdul that's it so there is a benefit from it if allah will make it to speak it's mean there's a benefit from it everybody is laughing at you Omar says he has no benefit in, the, in this time. Uh, in this time, get lost, you liar. Get lost. Don't call me again. You are a donkey like your prophet. Liar, liar will end in hellfire. In this time, in this time, no, in this time, there's a benefit for it. Is it you by kissing it now is going to witness for you tomorrow, you donkey? If there's no benefit at this time, so what the need for it at this time? And why Allah even need a stone to tell you about to tell about him that you kissed her? I mean, what a stupid God. And since when if we kiss a stone, our sin will be forgiven, and a stone is going to intercede for us. A stone. Why? A stone the stone erase your sin the stone is going to talk the stone is going to have eyes the stone stone is going to speak I mean what a stupid religion By the way, uh, one of the holy uh, things about the Kaaba, if you spit in the direction of the Qibla, in the direction of the Kaaba, Allah will send your spit back at you in the day of judgment. <laughs> Do you see it? Hold on. Okay, 
if you spit in the direction of the Qibla, <coughs> Allah will send it back to you. See how holy the Qibla is? And not only that, if you eat, if you eat from uh, garlic, don't ever enter our, our mosque. I heard Ibn Abbas say, the Messenger of Allah said, the stone will be brought in the day of resurrection and it will be given eyes, two eyes, which to seize and a tongue which to speak, and it will bear witnesses for those who touched in sincerity. Pagan religion. Tons of his stories in front of us, all of it is fiction and stupidity. As you see, this is nothing but a stupid cult full of fictions and madness and right away they start fabricating stories oh the stone have no benefit at this time no if there is no benefit of this time so why we consider this time if there's no benefit of it this is time why we kiss it today let us kiss it in the judgment day <laughs> all right anyway guys i got to go back to my work please don't forget to download the video and don't forget to subscribe and uh, give it a like. Muslims, they, they flood our videos by flagging. And your like and share uh, help the video uh, to be more uh, in front of YouTube in healthy position. They try to fight what we do, but they cannot be successful. And they try to stop us, but they cannot be successful. Islam is nothing but pagan cult violence hateful disgusting in the top of that a book full of errors and stupidity and fictions flying carpet ants uh, 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 long penises vagina virgins genie in the ball that is Islam they try to present it to you today in a new shape as a scientific religion when it is the most stupid cult ever you can imagine and we the Arab, we made Islam, and we the Arab, we will destroy it. We made it. We will take it. We brought this evil to you. We will save you from this evil. Muslims in English translation does not make a Quran look better, <clears throat> even though they do their best to lie in their, in their translation. But we are here. We are the Arab. And we are going to get you busted every day and millions of people will leave islam and wait i'm working now in translation of the quran and then soon the people they will have a real translation for the real quran no fabrication honest translation and god is my witness the lord the messiah is my witness i will never lie about one word in the translation never as it is no sugar coating no particularly correct no hypocrisy Nay, nay, yea, yea, this is what Jesus said. Be truthful like your father. And we have to be truthful. So wait for my coming book. And enter, we'll see you soon again. I say, may the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And see you soon. Bye-bye.